proficiency expert, Harris Christensen. Hello, um, thank you all for coming out. Um, I know we're all extremely busy, uh, so thank you, but that's also why I'm here to talk to you. Over the next half hour, I'm going to teach you the top 10 life hacking tips and tricks to help you save money, <laughs> time, and maybe even a little stress. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number one, thriftiness. <laughs> the next time you go to a fast food restaurant, take as many ketchup packets as you can. <laughs> It'll help you save money on buying new condiments. <laughs> Step two, leisure. <laughs> Forget to chill the wine, but you don't feel like putting ice cubes in your wine because you're afraid it might water it down. Here's the solution. Take grapes and put them in the freezer and then use those as your ice cubes. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Tip number three, etiquette. You're on a bathroom stall at work and you've got some gas that's coming about quite quickly. But you don't want your fellow employees to hear. Here's the solution. Take your two fingers and hold it against your anal lips. <laughs> to hold it open so you can release the new space. Now, I know what you're thinking. Harris, I just put my two fingers on my anal lips and there ain't no amount of thought that they're gonna wash them clean! <laughs> Tip number four. <laughs> Purchasing flesh-like gloves for your hands. <laughs> and for the rest of the day, wear these flesh-like gloves that were made to mimic the human hand. Now, I also can hear you saying, Harris, why don't we just wear these anal gloves whenever we're, we're silencing our anal lips? <laughs> well, if you're anything like me, which I assume most of you are, your anal lips are very sensitive to the rubber that the gloves are made of. <laughs> so, rather wear the gloves for the rest of the day instead. <laughs> Tip number five, consolidating repeated tasks. You're in a hurry, and you're running late to Old Navy. But you're stuck <laughs> filling out shipping info on anal glove order forms that you've already filled out at least a dozen times. Here's a solution. Buy enough boxes of anal gloves to fill your entire bedroom, and then sleep on top of those boxes. <laughs> 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 Tip number six, shower. Take an old sliver of soap and mend it to a new bar soap. That will help you save money on soap. I can hear the mumblings now. Harris, what the hell am I gonna do with these 30 trash bags that I used to sleep on before I started sleeping on these anal glove boxes? Tip number seven, have the local school system take your trash bags that you used to sleep on. Here's the trick. Take your trash bags and toss them onto a school bus while the bus driver's easily distracted. <laughs> they usually are. He'll be like, oh, looks like a normal bus full of kids. <laughs> He's an idiot. It's actually filled with your trash bed. <laughs> Tip number eight. Getting around the school's 500 foot rest restraining order. Now, if you're anything like me, which... We've already agreed you all are. You slept with a 16-year-old that you met at Old Navy. <laughs> now, here's the solution. Kill a drifter and wear his face as a mask when it you to school. <laughs> now, I guess you can guess that his face won't fit as well as your anal gloves, but it will get the job done. <laughs> Number nine. That wasn't a police officer. I mean, that wasn't a drifter. It was a police officer. <laughs> How many times have you been caught huffing your girlfriend's nail polish that you can't decipher between faces and whom you're killing? <laughs> three! Three times that has happened! <laughs> Tip number ten. Speak at a TED Talk event so you can get extra money for anal gloves. <laughs> Hell, but let anybody talk at these things now. 